Man, man, man. <coughs> I went out today. Not a single video game anywhere I would consider buying. I went to a couple of thrift stores. I found Japanese PlayStation 1 games for five dollars each. I'm not going to buy them. I don't even know if they fucking work on my system. <laughs> found a bunch of DVDs. I saw garage sales but couldn't find them. <laughs> I saw so much but I didn't want to pay prices. I was in a thrift store and they had some PlayStation 2, Xbox and PlayStation 1 games. PlayStation 1 games for $5, Xbox games for $5, and PlayStation 2 games for $5. <laughs> There's no distinction. <laughs> then I was in another one where they wanted $12 for Tekken 2, and I was like, I could get that cheaper from mine. And it was half off, so $6, but still, I don't want to pay that. I already have a copy. It's a platinum copy, but it's a copy nonetheless. But, yeah, so... I only found DVDs for the week. Can't looking, but during the week I actually had some pretty good finds. I might add some footage to this, I might not. If I am going to add footage, I will play it here. Yo everyone, just really doing a bit of filming. Now Okay, so, I didn't do too much filming, I don't really film unless friends are with me, but I'll show you what I found anyway. I found some good stuff. Okay, firstly, found a copy of Scarface, The World Is Yours, the PlayStation 2. Looks fun and all, I hear it's a free roaming game around Miami, so I imagine that's fun. I have the PSP game of it, but it's fucking horrible. For eight dollars, which is a lot more than I wanted to spend, but the people at EB Games told me that they were going to be getting rid of all their PlayStation 2 games over the next couple of not days, weeks, or months. But so I bought the best one. For eight dollars, I bought Alien Hominid, which I didn't even know was on the PlayStation 2. And I always thought it was just a Flash game on mini clips or fucking addicting games or something. Those are websites. I'm gonna show you those later. For a total of what was it thirteen dollars? I bought three games from a. What was it? It was various places. Okay, that place had a few new things, but not all that much, so I just bought Ratchet and Clank Locked and Loaded for five dollars and Pilot Down Behind Enemy Lines for five dollars, which is made by the same people who made Prisoner of War, which was an okay game. Well, yeah, I'm happy. Pilot Down Beyond Enemy Lines, this is made by the same people who made Prisoners of War. So yeah, that should tell you how bad that game is going to be. Not exactly Phoenix level bad, but still pretty bad. Next is Ratchet and Clank Locked and Loaded, which I'm pretty sure is the second one. That's complete. Um, the other ones I showed you were all complete as well, including Scarface, which had a map of Miami for some reason. And Victoria's Boxes 2, which cost me $3, which I was really fucking surprised. 
But this is like a 10 to 15 dollar game, but in this condition I probably paid what it's worth. I'm not sure if you can see, but that is just so many scratches. It's unforgivable how many scratches is on this game. I don't know if you can see it at all, but... Leave a game, you need to take care of your shit. At least put them through the buffer or something, because... I know for a fact when I traded stuff in, they said, Okay, we're going to... It's... Um, we're going to take two dollars off just because we're going to need to clean these. And they never fucking clean them. I swear, they don't ever. But... I found some RPGs, which is pretty cool, at a cash converter. I will roll the footage for that, because I know I have footage for that here. Okay, that footage has rolled, and I it was off camera, but what I found was Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. I haven't played that, but I like Breath of Fire 3 and Breath of Fire 4. I mean, Breath of Fire. <coughs> Shadow Hearts from the New World, and this and Breath of Fire had the worst stickers I have ever seen. You can probably see the residue that's still on there, but I say cash converter stickers were bad. They are nothing compared to the stickers that was on these fuckers. There's even part of the sticker still on there, and when I first got it, I opened it up praying that there wouldn't be a sticker on it, on the disc, and there wasn't, but... On the manual! Whatever. Whatever, I'm not even going to try and get it off. But... I found that. And I have this and Shadow Hearts Covenant. So now I just need Shadow Hearts 1. And I have all three and I haven't played any of them. Cain <laughs> Barbarian's Blade. I haven't even tried to take the stickers off this one. So I'm just going to switch out the case. I mean, it's not a PlayStation 2 case anyway. So is it? No, it is not. Not made of the same material. Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you. Um, the games I've been showing from Breath of Fire have been $3 each. A game which is quickly becoming my favorite Xbox game, The Suffering. This is complete, but it's in my system. This is one of the best games I've ever played for the Xbox. And it's weird. PlayStation 2 is the biggest collection, but... <laughs> I seem to find myself playing the Xbox a bit more because, I don't know, I have no idea, seriously, but this is a fun game, you have Prisoner, blah blah blah, stuff, and then uh, another Steelbook Xbox game, seems to be a lot of these circulating in the area, and I saw King Kong for the Playstation 2, like a gold box, it was, it was bent, but... <laughs> It looks so cool. But, Driver, Parallel Lines, I know nothing about this game other than the fact that the Steel Bulk is fucking trashed. As is the game because it's from Blockbuster. Fuck. <laughs> Should've checked the disc. But yeah, this isn't a very rare game. I'm pretty sure this isn't like a special edition or anything, it's just in a Steel Bulk, so... If I ever find another copy of this game, I'll just switch out the disc. Now, as I was saying at the beginning of the video, at the thrift stores, at the pawn shops, at the everything, I could find nothing other than DVDs. So, I'll show them. For a dollar each, I bought National Lampoon's Vacation. Haven't seen that, but heard good things. Star Wars, episode. Star Wars A New Hope. I refuse to call this episode 4. It's an okay movie. My favorite.
favourite Star Wars because I've watched it the most time on video, like normal video from back in the day, like 1998? No, 2002, that's it. I was watching it up to then. Star Wars Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back. It's my favourite one. Seems to be everyone's favourite, which there's a reason for that. It's the best one. Also for a dollar, the Terminator. Special Edition, and The Golden Child, which, I'm not sure, is this, like, a prequel or the original Coming to America or something? I have no idea, because, I don't know, it just has very similar case art to Coming to America, which also has Eddie Murphy. Um, this was a dollar fifty. Species 3, there's like five of these movies, so, yeah. I just thought the cover art looked cool, so I bought it. That was a dollar fifty because it was from another place, and DVDs there are usually three dollars, but it was half off. And for a full three dollars at that place that had the five dollar PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, and Xbox games. Well, that reminds me, I saw a PlayStation One today for twenty dollars. <laughs> oh man, people, crazy! Seriously, that is a absolutely crazy price. But, it was $3, and it's maybe the most Australian series other than How Zoos. It's Fat Pizza. Don't be fooled by the babes on the cover. It has nothing to do with babes. It's about these guys who run a pizza shop, and their boss is an asshole. He sends them out on dangerous jobs. The main employee can't do anything right. His name is Mario, I believe. You know, I watched this back in like 2009 when it was originally airing on SBS, so I saw it for three dollars, thought I have to have that. It's very funny, very Bergenish. So, yeah, not too much. It's literally everything apart from if you want to see night vision goggles or a wheelchair. So I bought both. I received both those things this week. <laughs> Why? Because I can. Well, say go to my house, bid you fair. Well, I don't really have anything else to say. I'll go edit, edit this video.